What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming out with another episode of our survival let's play. And today we're going to be building a brewing room in here. But before we do that, I want to show you guys what I've been working on. So I decided to move the nether portal into the base, and so I made a room for it. And I also made a second entrance to the base. Uh, but the second entrance has a hidden door. So unless you know where to find it, you won't be able to find it. So as you can see, it comes out here. And there's the main entrance over that way, and then right there, unless you're looking for it, you're probably not going to see it. And you can open and close it from this side as well. So that's my uh, other entrance I've made. And then down this way is where I have the, um, the nether portal. You will all die soon. That's where I've been keeping the uh, chickens that I slaughter for stuff. None. Wow. So down here, this is the portal room. Uh, this took me a couple hours to do with the uh, lava. Luckily, the ravine had a ton of lava in it. So I just moved a lot of the lava that the ravine had in the bottom, and then anything else I needed I went to the uh, nether for. Um, but you can see, I put some lava here with some glass. Um, you got lava coming from the tops there. And uh, just, you know, kind of made a, a different type of a room for it. Um, if you go into the nether here, it actually, I had to move the portal here to match. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build out this area here to be similar to um, what we have inside this room here. I'm going to do a similar room. That way it kind of looks, uh, it looks similar when you go through. But enough of that, let's go back up here and work on our nether portal. And then I gotta figure, or not nether portal, but our brewing room. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next. I might actually try to make a, an actual bedroom for myself instead of having my bed where it's at now. Make an actual room for it. Because right now, I currently have my bed here. Which works, but I'd rather have it somewhere else that's actually meant to have a bed there. Maybe even have my bedroom, the uh, entryway, be off that way somewhere. I don't know. I haven't figured out yet quite what I want to do. But for this room, I have an idea. What I'm thinking of doing here is let's use a silk touch so we don't lose any of the stone. What I want to do is along the edge put the um, put the nether rack or the not that but the nether brick along the edge like so. I'm going to have to do this on the top, too. Ah, I wasted a block there, but oh well. I need to do it up top, but I don't think I have any dirt on me. Oh well, we can use some stone. What will it hurt? Let's see. Yeah, that should be good enough. And... Oops. I fell down. 
That's all right. And there we go. And there we go. Ah, rats. Actually, I'll just do this since I want to put these in the corner anyways. Um, go like this, and like this, voila, oh, I'm going to hurt myself that way. That's right. At least I have feather falling boots. And we just got to come up here and finish this corner. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I've actually um, been playing with a buddy of mine on his server recently for a little bit. Um, but I was think I was just trying to take a break from this world, trying to figure out what to do next. And this is what I've decided to do next. Now I'm thinking that we should probably put some quartz in the walls. Like the other room. At least so it matches. Ah! I don't want to take that block out. So let's check it out and see how it looks with the quartz. All right. Yeah, I think that'll look good. So we'll put quartz in this one. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are kind of going crazy this today, and so I've been fighting off this stuffiness. It's been driving me crazy. All right, and we'll do these little sections here too. Yeah, I normally do all of my builds off camera because it's just easier, and I don't like wasting your guys' time actually doing builds, but this one's pretty easy. Oh, that was good. Uh, I need this back. There we go. And I did it again. Alright. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show you guys that actually, you know, just one building process. The really long build process that I try to do off camera so that I'm not boring you guys the entire time. But I do like to show you guys that I actually do work. Alright, so then what I want to do is take out those three. Take out those three. Oh, you must come out. And replace you with some stone. I don't really care about the coal. I have tons of it right now. And I need two buckets of water. And I also was going to go exploring soon and look for a, uh, another stronghold that's closer to us here. Uh, so that way we can go farm ender pearls a little bit easier. It's kind of a pain to go back all the way to where my old base is. But I still need to be able to get ender pearls. So it would be nice if it was closer. And brewing stands. Um, no, I gotta fix that. That doesn't look right. I know what I gotta do. I think I'll use this so it'll look better.
and then like this. There we go. Much better. And then what I'm going to do now is if I have them, I do. Put some chests in here. Those will hold the ingredients and the extra bottles and whatever else we might need. I'm wondering, should I bring this in around the edge? Or should I leave it? I think I'm going to leave it. I brought it in the edge here, but I'm still thinking I might take it back out because I don't know that it works. I don't know that I like it. So yeah, we'll leave this alone. We'll just leave it as a stone brick. Or the stone, I should say. And this way you can get water on either side. You're not limited to running back and forth. You can brew multiple things at once. I brought a bunch of my materials up here because I didn't know exactly how much I was going to need. But apparently I didn't need as much as I thought. But... Now we can take what I do have left in here, put that up there for now, and we can put the ingredients, I did bring some stone slabs with me, in a chest, the bottles in a chest, alright so we'll put half our bottles here, half our bottles here, and then here we'll put glowstone, glowstone, half of those, half of those, half's another wart, half those, half those, those. I'm just splitting them up by halves basically so that I can make brew I can brew from either side effectively. And then all the rest of this can go in here. Perfect. Of course I'll make some more bottles later. I just haven't taken the time to do so yet. And now we can put three bottles there, three there, do the same thing over on this one. At least just have it ready for the next time we come to make some potions. And there. Ta-da! That's the brewing room. Now this stuff needs to go back to... I wonder if I can fit it all. Nope, not quite. But I can cheat. I have an ender chest. Alright, time to go put this back. But basically, that's my little brewing room. Because uh, I do like to use night vision potions when I mine. And I also like to use um, swiftness potions when I'm out. As well as, um, I guess those, and the healing potions when I kill hordes of skeletons or zombies. Uh, but that's kind of what I really use the most is the night vision and the um, swiftness. So let's see, what do I have? Nether brick. Do I have a box for nether brick yet? I don't think I do. Ah. Oh, I do. I think. Nether brick. Sweet! And stone slabs. I don't think I have a box for stone. Maybe I do. Um, if I don't, well then we'll just make one. I have enough chests I can do a, a case just strictly for these things. Um, brewing and that I should put into its own little thing. Which I thought I had. 
But apparently I have not. Unless it's over here. Brewing. Oh, I got some chests to put up though. Um, food. No brewing. That's the snow box. Wait, maybe the brewing is in here. No, that's my... Well, blaze rods and brewing can go together. Why not? And then I gotta put the stone and the chisel and the quartz block away. I'm pretty sure I have one for quartz right over here. Yes. Quartz. And stone. But I gotta get the rest of the stone out of here. This storage room is pretty awesome, I have to say. I really like the way it turned out. And since I got all that stone for free, oh, we better break that. Uh, that's a silk touch, so that will help. Pull in. There we go. And coal goes here. As you can see, I still have a ton of coal that I'm, I have to go through. Um, but I haven't done that yet because I'm waiting for... Um, I'm waiting until I switch over to the latest version. That way I can take advantage of coal blocks. Um, Alright, let's see... Everything else belongs in my inventory. Oh, the buckets. Gotta get rid of the buckets. And everything else is good. Okay. Buckets. All right, and that is all we're doing there. And let's see. I like jumping around with ender pearls. It's fun. All right. So we got the brewing done, we got everything else put away. Um, you know, actually, I do want to do one more thing. Let's see here. At least get them set up as awkward potions. All right. Oh, the other thing we got to go do is go get us some more nether wart. The next thing I actually think I'm going to do is expand the farm. Because this is just not big enough. I mean, it's nice and all, but it's just, it's not doing it for me. I mean, I got wheat, I got veggies, but it needs more. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I just, I want to have a little bit more automation to it. So that I can at least, you know, just get more out of it. Because it's nice and all, but, I don't know, I'm just, I want more. Oh, dang it, and I don't have a hoe on me. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any materials that are close by to make one. Let's see, do I have anything in there? No. No. Alright, um, I'll worry about it later. I don't feel like we're running all the way to the uh, storage room to get the stuff I need for that. I don't remember jumping on that either, though. So it's hard to figure out why it broke all of a sudden. Oh well, it happens. At least this is pretty easy to pick up. Alright, and we're almost done. Let's see, anything else I need to grab? The wheat. 
I haven't harvested this for a little bit. Now there should be water going all the way through these things to keep that from happening. Because there should be water all along here. And there is. Yet, it's not saturating it like it should. Hmm. I'll have to figure it out later. I'm not quite sure why it would be doing that. I'm sure there's a reason for it, and I just haven't thought about it yet. Um, because this one's saturated. So this one should be too, but it's acting like it's not. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is why I want to build a better farm, just so I don't have to deal with this situation. And I could probably dig these out just as fast as my hand. If I had an axe, they would come up right away. I just don't have an axe on me right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to move my my food to a better farm. This is kind of temporary anyways when I first set it up. Just a nice little room to, to keep stuff in. But now I'm going to move it to a more dedicated, uh, to actual, more efficient room with levels and some uh, water dispensers. I think that's what I'm going to do with some hoppers to collect everything. Something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not. Something that will work better, more efficient. Uh, but I think that's what I'll do on my next video. I'll find a, I'll dig out a room for the uh, for the food to move it to, and then um, we can I can move it with you guys next time. I get quite a bit of sugar out of all that. Oh, I still have some nether wart on me. Um. Oh, wrong one. There we go. And pumpkins. Pumpkins. Oh, they're up top. I wonder why I put them up here. Oh, I think I ran out of space down there, so that's why they're up, up here. Alright, and pumpkins. Seeds. I don't know that I have a spot for seeds. Do I? I do. Haha. -ha. Alright. So that works. Um, I do have some more nether wart down here. Ah, uh, you guys are watching me fail all over the place today. Oh, that's where it is. Alright, so yeah, I need to make a bigger nether wart farm. I need to make a, a better farm for my other stuff. I really do like how this room down here turned out. I think it turned out really good. Really happy with the way it looks. It's awesome. Now I still think I even have lava left down here that I didn't even pick up yet. There was quite a bit of lava. Don't look like it's over there. I'm pretty sure there was some left. Maybe I did move it all. Either way. But yeah, so that turned out really good. The uh, brewing room, uh, the little mini brewing room looks nice. That'll be handy to have so I can start making my potions again. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is increase the farm. Maybe I'll put the farm down here. 
Because I'm not really doing anything down here yet. So maybe we can put the farm down here. There's that chicken still wandering around. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I have this here that I've dug out. I could easily move it that way and dig some more down and put a farm down over this way. Because I could do... I could do an 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, that's already 8 wide. So I could take it 10 deep so I have room for the pistons and the redstone. And have multiple levels. And then I could press a button here and have it push everything right in front of me into some hoppers that go into some chests. That would actually work out pretty well. And then all I have to do is dig it down a little bit in order to add room for... Because I need wheat, potatoes, and carrots. And I need two blocks high so I can at least get up there to replant. But I could put the, I could put the farms like right underneath here. And just dig down a little bit and then add some stairs. And then I'll make a, uh, off to the side over here, I'll make my little melon, melon farm. And then maybe over this side I'll do the, uh, the uh, sugar cane. And this can be my, my farming area down here. I'll make it look all pretty and stuff. So I think that's what I'm doing. I'm going to clear out some space for this. I can even make a mushroom farm. I still have black spots down here that need to get lit, that I need to light up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the uh, the farm over this way. Give this area some purpose. Finally. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So next video we get together, you guys. I'm gonna work on the farm. On moving it. And then the other area where the farms at. Maybe we'll put the bedroom down there. So then down over here we can have the main bedroom. Because this room's plenty big enough to be a room. Because we can even branch out over here and go to other areas. I think this actually goes to the ravine. Or maybe we can make this another exit entrance or exit to the area here. No, I think this goes to the ravine actually. Or maybe it doesn't, and I'm just thinking it does. No, but it goes somewhere. So yeah, I can even make another door exit area that way for the fun of it to do something with. I don't know. For now, though, we'll just stick with... what we have. Oh look, two pumpkins and some melons have already grown. Yeah. So what I'll do is I might turn that into the into the master room area with some extra temporary chest storage, or do something else with it. I'm not sure yet. But until then, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate all you guys. Oh look, a spiders after me. Gee, that was smart. Let's attack the guy with a sword. You're dead now. But as always, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thanks again, and take care, everybody. Peace.